Hello everyone, I'm Chao Jian Li from Rice University. I'm very excited to present our work here, HWNAS Bench, Hardware Aware Neural Architecture Search Benchmark. Hardware Aware Neural Architecture Search has gained increasing attention by automating the design of deep neural networks for target application and device. As shown in the figure below, it interacts with the efficiency performance of networks in its search space and output the DNA architecture with the optimal accuracy efficiency trade-offs. Under the rapidly increased number of HWNAS research papers also indicates HWNAS is ongoing demand. Despite the promising performance achieved by SOTA HWNAS, there exist some critical challenges which limit the development of HWNAS elevations. The first challenge is that it's non trivial to obtain the hardware cost of all networks in the search space required by HWNAS. To do so, existing methods either pre collect this data to construct a hardware cost lookup table or adopt a device specific hardware cost estimator or models. But both of them can be time consuming to be obtained and impose a barrier to entry for non-hardware experts because it requires cross-disciplinary knowledge in the algorithms, microarchitecture, and the device-specific combination. And the second challenge is that it's difficult to benchmark HWNAS because of the different adopted devices besides the different search spaces and the hyperparameters. Although there are pioneer NAS benchmark datasets which focus on accuracy, flops, number of parameters, and the server level hardware cost, all of them only provide no or limited hardware cost on real devices. Additionally, the flops and the number of parameters do not create well with the hardware cost on real devices, as shown in our analysis introduced later. To tackle the challenges mentioned above, we have developed HWNAS Bench, the first public dataset for HWNAS research. Current HWNAS without our proposed HWNAS Bench requires the corresponding expertise or knowledge caused by the hardware cost modeling or collection pipeline in the framework. And by adding our proposed HWNAS bench on top of HWNAS framework, the hardware cost modeling or collecting pipeline can be replaced by just simply querying our proposed HWNAS bench. And thus, HWNAS researchers can focus on the more effective HWNAS algorithms only because no hardware expertise or knowledge needed with our proposed HWNAS bench. In our HWNAS bench, we include six devices which fall into three categories and support two search spaces, NAS bench 201 and FBNet search spaces. Also, we provide both energy and latency as the hardware costs on the devices if they are available. In a nutshell, our proposed HWNAS bench democratizes HWNAS research to non-hardware expertise aiming at change one. That is, it's non-trivial to obtain hardware costs and facilitates a unified benchmark for HWNAS, aiming at change two, that is, it's difficult to benchmark HWNAS. To develop our proposed HWNAS bench, we build the corresponding hardware cost collection pipeline for all the included devices to make sure the implementation in each device is optimized towards the best hardware performance of networks in the search space. For example, for each GPU, we first set the device in the max N mode to fully make use of all available resources, and then set up the embedded power rail monitor 
to obtain the real measured latency and energy via a specific tool. After that, we convert networks defined in PyTorch into TensorRT before the deployment to get the best hardware efficiency performance. Based on our developed HW NAS bench, we have performed some interesting analysis. The first one shows that real hardware cost is necessary because the theoretical metrics like flops and the number of parameters do not correlate well with real measured or estimate hardware cost. More specifically, our experiments on the rank correlation coefficient of flops and the real hardware cost suggest that the coefficient can be as low as around 0 0.3. And the second analysis indicates the device-specific cost is necessary because we can conclude that the hardware cost on one device do not correlate well with that the hardware cost on another device. When we observe that the corresponding coefficient can be as low as zero. The third one is that device-specific HWNAS is necessary. By deploying the same networks, which achieved the optimal accuracy hardware cost trade-offs in one device and marked in red in this figure to other devices, we observed that those optimal architectures may not perform well in another device, like the case for HGPU, Raspberry Pi 4, and HTPU here. Also, we have released our proposed HW, H, H, HW NAS bench with easy to use APIs. You can create the API within just three lines of code and get the hardware cost on various devices. You can try it now with the provided link and the QR code. Thank you for your listening.